Hi guys, in this video, I am going to discuss about how to join two tables in Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio without common columns. So, and here I am using this two table. So, let's see the record inside stud1 and stud2 tables. So, here this is the record inside stud1 and stud2. So, and here inside stud or table so this is the record and your call one so add here sam max john and danny and here call to this values and here in str2 so add here call rows or this and here in call for so this is the rows so there is no any matching values at there so i want to join this two table records so for this let's write the query so add here going to use or select a statement. So add here going to select. So add here going to use S1. So S1 I will create the alias. So S1 dot. So if I please press add here if I'm going to use S1 dot con one. So it's not coming in the list. So for this we need to try to add here. So let's write out here from and here going to create one inner table. So add here select and here call one and here after call two and here row now. So about the row number function I already discussed at the previous videos and here after going to use over and here or uh, giving order by call one so order by call one here now here after as and here going to create at this point and here in a small letter r1 r n from and here from str one now here after let's give the alias as S1. So add here this is the inner point. So add here selecting call one, call two, and your row number. And here over by order by add here call one. And this is the alias and here from S third one as S1. So S1 is the alias in place of this call. And here after going to use S1. So if I press add here S1 dot so you can find at this point call one and call two so first i'm going to use at this point call one and here after s1 and your dot so next going to use call two now here after so here going to join the table so and you're going to use full auto join so here full auto join so it will return everything means so our right table record as well as left table records so add your uh, full auto join and here after going to use or uh, select a statement and you're going to use uh, so add your call 3 so call 3 it's not coming in the list so add here for this we need to use from. So first I am going to use at this point from asterd. So asterd 2. Now here after call 3 and here comma call 4. So call 4 and here row underscore number. And here after let's use over and uh, doing order by on call 3 and here give the alias as R M. Now here after so for this one going to give the alias as and here R 
sorry S2 so S2 is the allows at this point and here after let's give on and here if you paste S1 so here you can find S1 dot so add here passing so condition should be RN so RN is the alias in place of this all those things and hereafter going to use equal operator here again hereafter going to use S2 and your dot the so alias at your RN so this is the key to join two tables without any common columns now hereafter I am going to include column of S2 so S2 hereafter press dot so here you can find call 3 now here after S2 so here dot you can find call 4 so at here let's give some space so at here selecting the columns from or call 1 or so S1 is the alias at here from this one and here S1 has uh, call 1 and call 2 S2 alias has uh, call 3 and call 4 now here applying full auto jam so it return left table record as well as right table record now execute that so add here this is the record it's uh, returning now here after execute all the query here after you can check the output so see at here this is the uh, or uh, stud one table so this is the record and here this is the stud two so first to that to or display stud one table record here so uh, this one is in ascending order so that to call to it's not in order but at here call one is in order and in or uh, stud two there there are only or uh, three rows so at here first to this is the display three rows and here there is nothing so it's a display not now here uh, this is the so this is the way we can return uh, and we can join two tables without any common so if you can apply at here if you try to apply so inner join so inner join that return only matching record so at here if you execute at this point so there is no any condition so at here uh, this is the value so returning now let's uh, check the output so at here this is the Danny it's the uh, returning 414 and here John so Danny and here John here after max uh, because at here at this point there are in uh, call to so see at here in call sorry in a study table there are only three rows so that it's only combined or uh, three rows at here so one row it's uh, missing now here after if you check with uh, or left giant so left giant that return left table record after that right table so see at here or uh, getting the same output so you can apply at your full giant yeah so sub first that return left table records and you have to write now here after if you uh, use right join so that return first right table record here after so see at here right table so if you use right so at here there is a one row that missing from at your registered one table so for best practice you should use full join or full auto join then you can get the expected output so at here uh, getting the expected output so without any common columns so this is the way we can join so this is the query at here so about the row number and over by cross that i already discussed in my previous video and about full join full auto join left join right join i already discussed so please watch my previous video if you have any con confusion about row number full join and your order by or by class so this is the key to join two tables without any 
common corner. So I hope guys this video is helpful for you. So now in this video it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next week. Thank you.